What is malware? Four common types explained. Malware, or malicious software, is a blanket term for any kind of software that is intentionally designed to disrupt, damage, or gain unauthorized access to Oxford Dictionary, any programmable device, service, or network. There are millions of unique variants of malware, with new ones being created every day. If you find this figure overwhelming, you're not alone. In this video, we'll explore four common categories of malware that you should be aware of. Trojans, spyware, viruses, and ransomware. It's important to understand the different types of malware attacks to help you better protect yourself. We will break down each type of malware, explore some key terms, learn the signs of a malware infection, and the ways malware can spread. Trojans. A Trojan, or Trojan horse, is named after the wooden horse said to have been used by the Greeks to sneak into the city of Troy and win the Trojan War. Trojan malware disguises itself as legitimate software, tricking users into downloading it. Trojans act as a doorway. When users download the file, the malware program installs on the device, granting access to the attackers. They can then use the program to create backdoor access into your device, delete, modify, or capture data, or install other viruses or worms. The main categories of Trojans are Backdoor Trojans, which create an open point of access for the attackers to access the device. From this backdoor, they can control the device, access your personal data, and download more malware onto it. Downloader Trojans, which download additional malware onto the infected device. Info Stealer Trojans, which steal data from the infected device. Remote access trojans, which give the attacker full control over the device. Distributed denial of service, or DDoS, trojans, which take down an entire network by flooding it with traffic. Unlike some other types of malware, trojans require user action to take effect. Attackers will psychologically attempt to manipulate their victims in order to convince them to engage in risky behavior. Trojans can be hidden in many different places, including mobile apps or games emails and their attachments, and links on social media. So always think before you click on any suspicious links or attachments, no matter who it may appear to be from. When in doubt, just leave suspicious links alone. Spyware. Spyware, or spying software, is a term used to describe any malware that is designed to covertly gather information from a user's device without their knowledge or consent. It acts like a super spy by monitoring user activity to gather information. This information can include sensitive data, such as passwords, financial details, browsing history, and more. Spyware can also monitor user activities, track location, and capture audio or video. The main categories of spyware are adware, which can send a user's activity data to a third party, info sealers, which can scan devices for specific data, such as payment information or contacts, Key loggers, which can record the keyboard inputs a user makes on the device. Mobile spyware, which can track your GPS location, call logs, contact lists, and photos. Password stealers, which harvest passwords and logins stored on an infected device. Sound and video recording spyware, which uses your device to record you and your conversations to send the information to a third party. The spyware will first infiltrate your device via malicious websites, links, or install packages. Then it will monitor and capture your data through any of the ways listed above. Finally, the stolen data will be sent to the attacker, where it will be used directly or sold to other parties, including potential advertisers. Viruses. A virus is a piece of code designed to infect and compromise computers, causing harm to your data, applications, and system functionality. A virus attaches itself to legitimate programs and files, spreading from one computer to another when these infected files are shared or transferred. A virus becomes active when the main host file is triggered. Viruses can stay inactive on a device until the host file or application is launched. At that time, the harmful code can begin to self-replicate and start infecting other files and programs on your device. The main categories of viruses are file infectors, which attach themselves to program files, activating when the user runs the program. 
macroviruses, which target macros within applications like Microsoft Word. Overwrite viruses, which destroy files or application data by replacing it with malicious code. Polymorphic viruses, which change or update underlying code to evade detection, making them harder to identify. Resident viruses, which embed in systems memory so they can be reactivated even after the original virus is deleted. Rootkit viruses, which install unauthorized rootkits so attackers can gain full system control and modify or disable functions. System or boot sector viruses, which affect executable code in disks, operating systems, or external hard drive boot sectors, impacting startup. Viruses can spread through various means, such as email attachments, file sharing, infected websites, and removable storage devices. Viruses can have a wide range of effects, including data corruption, unauthorized access to sensitive information, and disruption of normal device operations. They can also be used to steal personal information, financial data, or login credentials. Ransomware. Ransomware is malware that encrypts a victim's files or locks them out of their own computer system, rendering them inaccessible until a ransom is paid. Often the ransom will be demanded in cryptocurrency in exchange for providing the decryption key to unlock the files or device. However, there's no guarantee that paying the ransom will lead to the safe recovery of data, and it can also encourage further criminal activity. Ransomware attacks can be devastating, as they can result in the loss of important data, disrupt business operations, and cause financial and emotional distress to the victims. There are two types of ransomware. Locker ransomware, which essentially locks users out of basic device functionality. Crypto ransomware, which encrypts individual files. To spread ransomware, an attacker can use malicious email attachments, advertisements, links, or websites. To protect against ransomware, it's important to keep software up to date. Use strong and unique passwords. Be cautious when clicking on links or downloading attachments. And remember to regularly back up important data. How does malware spread? As mentioned throughout the video, malware can spread in many different ways. Some of the most common ways in which these threats can spread include Email. Compromised email accounts can send malware-infected attachments or links to malicious websites. Once open, recipient systems become infected, continuing the cycle. Physical media. Hackers place malware on USB drives, which unsuspecting victims can insert into their computers, potentially leading to infections. This is especially common in corporate settings. Pop-up alerts. Fake security alerts or other pop-ups prompt users to download fake security software, often containing additional malware, further compromising their systems. Vulnerabilities. Security flaws in software can allow malware to gain unauthorized access, compromising the computer, hardware, or network. Backdoors. Intentional or unintentional gaps in security systems, software, hardware, or networks that can serve as entry points for malware. Drive-by downloads. Software is downloaded unknowingly when visiting certain websites or clicking suspicious links, either with or without the user's knowledge. Homogeneity. When all systems share the same operating system and network connection, the risk of malware-like worms spreading to other computers increases. Blended threats. Malware packages combine features from different types of malware, making detection and prevention more challenging as they exploit multiple vulnerabilities. Signs of a malware infection. If you've noticed any of the following things happening without your permission, your device may be infected with malware, sluggish performance, frequent crashes, or freezing of the computer. Battery drains more rapidly. The infamous blue screen of death. Automatic opening, closing, or unauthorized alterations of programs. Failure to log into secure sites. Limited storage capacity due to unknown activities. Lack of access to files. A surge in pop-up ads. New toolbars, search engines, and internet homepages being installed. Uninitiated sending of emails and messages. Antivirus software is disabled. How to avoid a malware infection. To avoid malware infection, take the steps listed throughout the video. Some of the best practices include 
use reliable security software. Install reputable antivirus and anti-malware software and keep it updated to detect and block threats. Keep software updated. Regularly update your operating system, applications, and plugins to fix vulnerabilities that attackers could exploit. Exercise caution with email. Be wary of email attachments and links, especially from unknown senders. Avoid downloading attachments or clicking links from suspicious sources. Stay away from suspicious websites. Avoid visiting untrustworthy websites, especially those offering illegal downloads or pirated content. Enable firewall. Activate the built-in firewall on your operating system to block unauthorized access. Secure network. Use strong passwords for Wi-Fi networks and considering using WPA3 encryption for added security. Be cautious with downloads. Download software and files only from reputable sources. Verify the authenticity of the source before downloading. Use strong passwords. Employ strong, unique passwords for all accounts and change them regularly, including the lock screen password on your mobile device. Backup data. Regularly backup your important files to an external drive or cloud storage to avoid data loss in case of infection. Avoid clicking on pop-ups. Don't click on pop-up ads or links within them. Use ad blockers to reduce the risk of encountering malicious ads. Enable two-factor authentication, 2FA. Whenever possible, enable 2FA for your online accounts to add an extra layer of security. Educate yourself. Stay informed about current threats and tactics used by cyber criminals. Educate yourself on how to identify potential risks. Use limited privileges. Limit user accounts to non-administrative privileges to reduce the potential impact of malware. Disable auto run. Turn off auto run for external devices to prevent malware from automatically executing when plugged in. Regularly scan for malware. Perform regular scans of your device with security software to detect and remove any potential threats. Now that you know the signs of these various types of malware, you'll be able to better defend your device. By following these practices, you can significantly reduce the risk of malware infections and better protect your devices and personal data.